Hi guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm doing a tutorial. This has been a request. Today I'm gonna teach you on how to draw water drops. Not just water drops, you can make them to bubbles also if you're drawing underwater scenes. So let's get to it! I have already colored my background layer. You can choose any color you want as your base. I have chosen duck blue for mine. Remember that the drops can come in all shapes and sizes, but also that there is a rule to follow. Don't forget gravity or the direction in which the drops falls. Mine will fall downwards. Start by drawing the outer line of the drops. Do not forget to vary the size of the drop. Now you have the foundation. lighter color than the one you drew the outlines with. This will give a little more depth and dimension to the drop. I personally choose to rock the brush back and forth, but it is entirely up to you. Think about where you have the light. Now it's time to choose an even brighter color to use to create the highlight. Follow the contour of the drop to create the illusion that the drop actually is round and not flat. On the bottom of the drop, on the opposite side of the highlight, draw another highlight, though a bit fainter. This uh, contributes further dimension to the drop. Change the brush to the soft default brush in Photoshop. Draw gently in the lower part of the drop with light strokes. Remember to adjust the brush size according to the size of the drop. Now copy the color you have in the background so that the drop blends with your chosen background. Drop the color in the thickest part of the drop. Again, adjust the brush size depending on the drop size. In retrospect, fill in the highlights again. Fill in the lower part of the drop of the same color as the highlight. For added effect I have chosen to add a lot of drops in the background. Go into the settings of the brush and choose scattering. Here you can decide how much you want your brush to scatter. Lock your layer by mark it and click on the small icon next to the lock. This will lock your layer so that no leakage outside this layer will occur. Take a different color and fill in the drops to create more dimension. Lower the opacity of fill when finished. You can make all kinds of drop in this way, not just water. And if you want to make blood for example, you just use red instead of blue or green. comes the final touch. Merge your layers into one layer, then click on the filter tab, then filter gallery and then diffuse glow. And here you can play around with uh, how much glow you want on your drops. And remember, you can use the same basic technique in traditional art but without the technology. I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful. And if you want to get more tutorials from me in the future, comment down below what you would like to see and I will look through it and see if I can help you guys in any way. Here are some previous videos you can check out and don't forget you can follow me on social media where I am publishing sneak peeks and works in progress. And subscribe to make sure you're not missing out on any videos. And until next time, bye guys!